What's up everyone? And holy smokes, I never thought I'd be saying these words today, but this is the calm before the hurricane. <laughs> tropical storm, you know, tropical cyclone. But yeah, we are gonna be in the direct path of a tropical storm in Big Bear. I can't believe it. Like, I can't believe I'm saying this right now. Um, and I even saw some like crazy, crazy info that it looks like the storm track's gonna stay a little bit more west of where it was supposed to be kind of going over the center of Baja and it's gonna stay just west still over some of the super warm waters so um, it could make landfall in San Diego as a as a category two hurricane can you guys freaking believe that like dude this is crazy so I'm super super excited um, due to the fact we're on the mountains um, it's gonna cause a lot more lift and we're just gonna get a lot more of the storm up here a lot more of the rain um we could get i mean geez like they're saying about four to six inches of rain which i believe that but in certain areas up here it could be eight plus inches of rain in a pretty short period of time so everything's supposed to begin tomorrow afternoon but the heaviest stuff is supposed to start on sunday tomorrow is saturday so sunday is when the heaviest precipitation and heaviest thunderstorms are supposed to start with the stronger winds winds sustained of 20 to 40 miles per hour gusts up to 70 miles an hour um, with the tropical storm coming through so yeah it's definitely something else you guys this is this is something to behold this is incredible but I wanted to take you guys through a little bit of the town for a calm before the storm video. We never do this in the summertime. It's usually it's usually wintertime stuff. But yeah, the calm before the hurricane. Crazy. I, I really can't believe those words are coming out of my mouth. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? crazy stuff um, yeah so I hope everyone's bracing for it areas like Palm Springs you guys are supposed to get about like four to eight inches of rain which is just unheard of this time of year or any time of year and the crazy thing is is Palm Springs and, and Death Valley areas like that they're not even gonna barely get out of the 70s come Sunday I believe like out of the 70s or, or low 80s for high temperatures so we're gonna get record low high temperatures all over the deserts it's it's gonna be crazy but yeah when I was watching some some forecasts and seeing that the that the storm track might go a little bit west um, just seeing that not just a category one hurricane could make landfall in the United States of America in the Southwest, but a category two, which means guys like sustained winds could be upwards close to a hundred miles an hour. Like imagine, imagine how just how destructive that's going to be. So I really hope everyone is taking this seriously, getting prepared. Um, this is nothing to screw around with. This is nothing to screw around with. So please, please, if you don't have to go outside and if you don't have to do anything, don't. Please get everything taken care of now. Get all your shopping done. Get your sandbags. Um, get everything you need to do to stay safe. Done. Because this is literally the calm before the storm. This is going to be the most intense event I've ever experienced not just in the winter time here, but in my entire life. Those of you who know this channel know that I grew up in Newport Beach and spent most of my life in Newport Beach. <clears throat> so you all know that, uh, I mean, we don't get storms like this in Southern California. It's just, it's out of control. It is out of control. So I will be out in the midst of the storm doing what I do. I'm also going to do a couple live feeds. We're probably going to have a live feed 
set up like I usually did for the big storms in the winter time just kind of at the house watching what's going on outside and chatting with you guys the whole time and then we're also gonna do maybe one or two live feeds driving around town during the storm so yeah quite remarkable stuff you guys and any like uh, true meteorology updates that you guys need go to bensweather.com b-e-n-s-w-e-a-t-h-e-r.com Ben's weather he's a friend of mine I'm very excited to admit that um, he's a buddy and uh, he's been doing the, the forecasting up here for decades and decades He's very, very well known, well respected for his meteorology prowess. So please check out bensweather.com. He told me I could copy and paste information onto the channel. So that's what I am doing for you guys. But if you guys want to see it directly from the horse's mouth, go to bensweather.com. Yeah, this is pretty awesome. And then also a friend of mine sells Furman generators. If anyone needs a generator, if you're worried about losing electricity, if you're, you know, uh, that type of person like I am, then you might want to get a hold of a Furman generator. Just let me know. I'll try to get his information for you guys. Um, I believe he's, he sells used ones that have the same warranty as a brand new one. So they're super solid and they're very, very affordable compared to other generators that will absolutely break the bank. So. Get yourself a Furman generator and stay safe during the harshest weather. Okay, so we are in the Big Bear Village right now. Of course, I don't want to see any destruction, you guys. I don't want to see anybody hurt. But this is going to be something else. And this guy in this Kia doesn't know how to parallel park you're not supposed to pull in the front like that you're supposed to to back into the spot unbelievable guys california drivers man i mean seriously you do what's what, what's backwards in california right that's what that, that that's what we do we're, we're california we do everything backwards and driving and parking is no exception all right Okay, I guess we're gonna head out. Get ready for some <clears throat> some real hell coming. A lot of people are hoping that the storm kind of deviates a little bit, wobbles a little bit, and starts kind of heading in a different direction so we don't get the brunt of the impact. But you know what? I'm really hoping we get the worst of it. Again, I don't want to see any damage. I don't want to see any destruction. I wish that everything was flood proof and wish everything was wind proof. I just love the weather aspect of it. So I'm not looking for anyone to get hurt. I don't want any property damage, but that's probably going to be inevitable in this storm. So just please stay like stay out of the storm. Please stay out of the storm and just and just enjoy it from inside your comfortable houses. Hopefully everyone's doing well. Thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for everything. The support's been humongous. It's been really nice, really nice communicating with you guys a lot over the summertime because usually it's not as active, but the 
past couple seasons, I've started to do more in the summer times. This channel began as just a channel to record the snow. And that was it. That was it. But I fell in love with you guys. I really did. And I wanted to do everything I can to uh, to bring you guys as much info as possible. The longer I'm here, the more I'm learning about my new town. I've been here for eight and a half years now. And yeah, I'm very obsessive compulsive. So once I start something, I can't stop. And I have to always do it. So that's what's going on. Again, if you guys have any questions, go check out bensweather.com first um, to see if he has posted anything because I'm not too knowledgeable on tropical cyclones. I mean, yeah, of course, I know the basics and uh, stuff like that, but I want to make sure that you guys are not wasting your time, especially the closer we get to this storm. It's really important because safety is absolutely paramount here. I'm going to be out in the middle of the darn thing, though. Eat at the Crepe Cafe when you guys come up here. You guys are going to love that place. Really good crepes. The owners use their family's recipe from France and to top it off I became good friends with them as well but I wouldn't refer you to any place that I thought wasn't fantastic so uh, and if it's not because I do want to give everyone an opportunity up here all all the businesses the thing is is that I'll be honest with you about how I feel about it but remember that does not mean if I don't like something up here that doesn't mean that you won't so still give these places a chance, but I'll be giving you my honest reviews on these spots because I want to be honest with you guys. Pretty simple. XT still with my snow tires on it I'm taking it to my friend's shop today he's gonna let me park it in his auto garage overnight and uh, well for a few nights for the storm because I live under a bunch of trees so that's very nice of him Straight ahead of Snow Summit, but we are making a left here. I just wanted to take you guys on a short little tour, just to see a little bit of the town, a little bit of the main part of Big Bear Boulevard, so we can see how different it's going to look once the storm really, really takes hold. Yes! Pretty awesome. Evergreen. You got 
got some beautiful houses on this street. I drive down this street a lot because I love the houses here. Just big, beautiful houses. Now we're gonna drive through the main part of Moon Ridge real quick, and then that's gonna be the end of this cruise. The next update is going to be as soon as we get our first bit of rain tomorrow. And then there will be probably quite a few updates during the storm. Maybe one or two tomorrow. Sunday, definitely a couple. And Monday, at least one in the probably the early to late morning. And then uh, as soon as the storm starts to pull away a bit. I think it's supposed to last till about 5 p.m. on Monday. You remember you guys, we stayed here, we did a video for you at Apple's and I, my wife and I literally had the whole resort to ourselves. It was pretty cool. They were closed, but they let us stay to make a video. So yeah, we had the whole entire place to ourselves. Our bedroom door inside that bed and breakfast, we, we left open. And it was, it was like our own mansion for a couple nights. It was, it was great, I enjoyed it. If you guys want to see what that place looks like check out the video it's in the lodging portion of the playlist so check out the lodging and see see the places i've stayed at i really hope the storm doesn't screw up the golf course too much it's gonna be destructive Here's the zoo. Big Bear Alpine Zoo at Moon Ridge. But yeah, guys, that's it for the video. But please, please, again, get ready for something unprecedented to happen in Southern California. I know this channel is about our area, but it's going to be so widespread and super intense. So be safe. Once again, be prepared. Do not take it lightly. If you over prepare, great if you under prepare please don't don't do that so love you guys a lot it is august 18th my mom's birthday 2023 in the big bear lake california area and we are anticipating a direct hit from a tropical storm sustained winds of 20 to 40 miles per hour with rain upwards of eight plus inches in parts of this area so again stay safe and if you like what i do if you appreciate what i do if you think i've earned it please hit the subscribe button hit the like button help me out i'd really appreciate it i would love to see this channel grow so thanks guys take care and until next time i'll see you tomorrow for the storm